Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11, Episode 7! <laughs> 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven to 7. What was that? I don't know. Oh, it's this country song. 11 Shift seven? work. Okay. Working 7 to 3. 3 to 11. 11 to 7. That sounds like a bad song. It's, you know, country. Oh, throwing down the gauntlet. I think it's, it's a pretty big one. It's like Blake Shelton or one of those. 11 to 7. I don't know much past Johnny Cash. So, mm -hmm. anyway. So, well that's appropriate. Country, farm to table, uh -huh. farm to runway. Yes. I really thought it should be farm to tuck. Cause like, they're tucks. Yeah. Table, tuck, tuck table runway tuck. was too long. For, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I can't think of a better one. What's a, there's a t farm to tunic? Ooh, and everyone just has to make a tunic. tunic. Maybe not. So make sure to uh, click the thumbs up button, mm. like, subscribe, share, ho, oh. follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, ho, oh. oh. Twitter, ho, oh. down, down, <laughs> down. Now is share uh -huh. gonna be uh, starring in the Steven Spielberg West Side Story remake? No, I don't think so. But you know what I thought of that she I really wanted. She could show up at the end, like Mamma Mia too. I'd be like, ho. Oh. I'm gonna make this musical better, ho. Oh. <laughs> I will be playing all the parts. <laughs> I will be playing all the parts. The Jets are gonna have their day tonight. The Jets are gonna have their way tonight. We're gonna hand them a surprise tonight. And then she comes out, they're both dead on the ground, and she just goes, there's a down for us. <laughs> Maybe the credits, I like that. Right? Cher just, and then she Cher just does, Cher just sings somewhere in the credits. Actually, this is perfect. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. I um, was listening to Celine Dion radio in my car because, you know. It tracks. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gay. You love Celine. I do. Get used to disappointment. Hey, okay. we'll talk about it. <laughs> but so I was listening to it and Barbara's version of Somewhere came on. Ooh. And I was like, oh, but if Barbara and Cher did a duet, Ooh, so I, that could be the title. I think, I think it might. The it universe might, it might, might like explode. tip the axis of the earth. Maybe and... it would put us back on the right timeline. Ooh, I like that. Right, they just shift it. Like, no, Satan, you are controlling the universe. <laughs> right, right. But it'd be pretty fabulous. I, I like it. Yeah, I like a, a we are the world sort of divas unite, Ooh, yeah. you know, and Beth's there, yes. and Diana Ross is there, and uh, Patty Le mm -hmm. everybody's there. I were both Patty's, Patty LaBelle and, and Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle, they're both there. Bernadette, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> you are so shady, I just Bernadette. don't, I don't particularly care for her. I don't know. I don't dislike I actually, her. <laughs> bold statement. I actually prefer her as an actress. I don't know, I think the opposite. she was on, like, Ally McBeal forever, she's great in The Jerk. Like, the things I think of loving Bernadette Peters about mm -hmm. is her acting. Because she's so cute and fun. This is very shady. It is. Anyway, so, farm to runway. <laughs> drag race, what's that? It's been a lot of drag race. So, Scarlett's gone home. Yeah. Raja. Um, Coming in strong. Coming in hot. Very hot. A little too hot. Yeah, a little. She's a maverick. You might say, like top top oh, gun. Top gun. You're fabric. dangerous. Not 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 Sarah, John Sarah Palin yeah, Maverick. Yeah, yeah yeah. No Top Gun. Mm -hmm. Top Gun Maverick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you're coming yep. in hot. Coming in hot. You might be the villain of this movie, and yet you think you're the hero. <laughs> sure. It's the theme of Top Gun. Mm hmm. Top Gun is a great camp classic that oh, yeah. a lot of straight men don't realize is camp. Oh. Did you see oh, the yeah. theme for the Met Gala? No. Oh, camp. Yeah. It's like camp as in. Camping? Or no. Camp is in. Camp is in camp. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's like an homage to Karl Lagerfeld. <gasps> and like Anna Wintour had this whole speech about it. We might she like have to actually was like, review the Met Gala. I think we have Does to. Does it air? I feel like I only ever see pictures. I feel like I only ever see pictures. We could talk about it on well, the podcast. Podcast. When's the Met Gala? Coming up.
Okay. So, so anyway. right, Raja. Yeah. Bye, bitch. I was ready for Raja to have already left, and she was still here, and I was ready for her to leave again, or to finally leave. I will say, I didn't think she was the worst in this episode. No. And uh, I was coming back around onto her a little bit. She's already stayed. I think she should have gone home in that group challenge, yes. obviously. But like, <laughs> she was saying some, some truths. Really? I thought this week a little bit. And I was like, I got to see you. Okay. She's irrational and insecure and like having issues. But there was things she was saying. I was like, I mean, you're not totally wrong. A little bit of both. And that was mm -hmm. but the biggest thing for me was at the end of this, I was just like, oh gosh, I feel like they did her a little dirty. Yeah. Just in the sense that like, she's talented. Yes. She just came in in the wrong headspace for this competition. Yep. And it didn't look cute. No. And I was bummed because I think I would have liked her a lot better in a different circumstance. Mm -hmm. I feel like we shouldn't read it. Oh, girl. I mean, they come in and Roger just goes, let's not even read the message right. from Scarlett. <laughs> Brooklyn! Oh, oh, girl. Oh, girl. Brooklyn was giving me life this oh episode. Oh, my God, was she? Whoa, what? What? Girl. I mean, we will talk about Untucked because Brooklyn Heights was all of us. Scarlett is still in the parking lot jumping in the van and Miss Roger is still reading the dog shit out of her. Scarlett, do not watch this part of the video. I don't know what that was. It, was, it was started okay and went to Harvey Firestein or something. A little bit. We'll get there too. I like Vanjie. I, yeah. You know, she's also in not quite the right headspace. Yeah, a little um, bit. She realizes that the, the train like, doesn't have enough oomph to get over the hill. And she's like, ah, oh, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I, she, we'll see if she figures it out. Yeah. But you at least, it's nice to see that she's trying. Yes. And she's like present enough and, and aware. she's so fun. She's so fun. And her personality for me is maybe one of the best, if not the best on the season. Yeah. Scarlet, turn the TV off now! Well, I loved Raja's reads of Scarlet because I was just like, you're reading yourself. The confidence was very high, but at some point you gotta humble yourself and take some of it and grow from it. Uh, she's not growing from her critiques. Like, she's not listening. She keeps backtracking. Like, all the things she was saying, I was like, but. Where's that hand mirror Silky was holding? <laughs> you know, just like, a little bit. Then we have like a montage of her reading every girl, oh, yeah. the house down. She sucks because of this reason. She sucks because of this reason. It was like, oh no. Focus on you, girl. Focus on you. Let us judge everyone else. <laughs> Miss Sugar, where you at? My girl Plastic, she's relying on her looks to get her safe. I love you. I love you. Mwah. Nina. What's the tea, girl? So Rue comes in looking like a little Dippin' Dots. Oh, yeah. And the mini challenge is potato sack race. <laughs> potato sack race with tits and hair. Yes. I mean, that was, it was basically bounce your titties, which was really fun and silly. Yeah, this was a mini challenge I enjoyed. Yeah. Because it was nonsense. Oh, yeah. And also embarrassing to the queens. Absolutely. <laughs> loved best. it. Yep. I loved it. I also really enjoyed the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really silly. I love when Rue goes, now, Evie, until you heal, you're just going to stand and, and deliver. And I was like, no, I like this a lot. Yeah, and her face was great, too. Yeah. I wish someone had made an Edward James Olmos joke. Because the movie Stand and Deliver. Mmm. I don't know. What they didn't show you that in health class in junior high? No. It was like... What school did you go to? It's like equivalent to, but not as cool as showing the class like Dangerous Minds, the Michelle Pfeiffer. Mm -hmm. They showed you that in class? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I had the single of Gangster's Paradise. I was into it. Single? Like a like a single cassette. cassette. I like that. Is that a thing? I don't know, but <laughs> oh, if, that was a thing. if you meet up that portmanteau, I am here for it. <laughs> a single. Cause single and ready to mingle. <gasps> <laughs> That's like a code that I'm a hipster, right? Because I'm still oh, listening to a cassette, cassette tape, tape. Right? Oh boy. Yeah, I like that, it. That's a red flag for me. Maybe it's a hipster dating app. Cause single. And ready to mingle. I like it. That's bad, but great. I enjoy it. Yeah. And you can pick hats and <laughs> moustaches and glasses as your... It's, yeah, I don't know. I, I got to work it. It's okay. something about the avatar mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. there's, okay. maybe there's little smiley emojis you can send people. Yes. 
And they're playing like, you know, rights free uh, Chariots of Fire. Oh. <laughs> and this was so silly and fun. Really silly. I really was just staring at Nina the whole time. The faces. Oh yeah. Well, Sugar like fell on the ground. Like she really was like going over the top with yep. it. Yeah. Um, and so Nina and Sugar win. I mean, it doesn't, they win money. Good for them. Yeah. For, from Hask. Hask about it by name. Oh. <laughs> Ask for it by name. <laughs> oh, yeah, but they didn't really win any sort of benefit, which is no, fine. No, that's but, fine. Yeah, because there wasn't one to be had in this challenge. Well, also, I like that they won. Was It, it was like, what, $20,000 or something? $2,500. $2,500. You know, I like that they won $2,500 for, you know, doing a potato sack race. Absolutely. And, like, jiggling their tits yeah. and making a face. That's yeah, silly. That's pretty great. Which has... You did that the best. <laughs> So the maxi challenge is farm to runway and they have to take, speaking of free trade, I love this. <laughs> Certified free trade. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of free trade, oh pit crew. And they wheel out this, you know, these barrels full of, of organic materials. Right. I will say we'll get into it. Yeah. Some of the organic materials yeah. were just fabric. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, I guess they're not judging it by Project Runway and conventional right. challenge standards. Right. Because if so, Nina would have been in the top. Or not in the bottom. Sure. Shall I say? Sure. You know, because it was like. Yes, because she fully converted this non conventional material. That's always into the material. thing with Project Runway. Well, you didn't use the materials. That's just right. muslin. Yes. I mean, we'll talk about it. We'll get there. Bitch, I'm here just to eat. <laughs> I know. Is this kale? I want to try this. I'm gonna try some of this. I'm gonna try, what is this? Kale? I'm gonna eat this too. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> oh, sponges. I could make an entire dress out of sponges. Ooh, a sponge dress. Shade. Oh, I could take all these sponges and make a sponge dress. And now I'm not mad at like a sponge cake dress. I don't think that would wear well, but. Like, as an idea for Monet, yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Elevate. Like, yeah, we've gone to the next level. Deriv derivatives, right? Yes. Like, let's, yeah. that's silly. Or even a makeup sponge. Cake yep. Or yep. Oh, makeup, makeup sponge, sponge outfit. Dress. Yeah. No, I like that. You know what else would be fun if she started her own line of makeup sponges uh, that were green and looked like this, like and green and yellow. Sponge queen. Yeah. That's fun. That would be smart. Yeah, that would be smart. You're welcome, Monet. You can have that one for free. <laughs> Maybe we'll take five percent. Fifty-one. One percent of this goddamn bodega. What did she say? <laughs> Something I, I own fifty-one percent of this damn kibbutz. <laughs> kibbutz. It was good. Michelle was cracking up. Oh, yes. And so everyone has to make an outfit, yes. and I did, I mean, I felt like there was a lot of missed opportunities from the shady editors this week. Earlier in the episode, I think, uh, Silky w has read Plastique and said, This bitch has worn a corset every time she's hit that runway. And then I love it, Brooke, so what are you gonna make, girl? Well, I think like a corset. corset with, with feathers. With... Probably like corset and have it like shoots feathers. I have like a lot of feathers. But so... they wasn't like back to back. I know, I, I was, so confused as to why that wasn't. So when they said, I was like, oh great, they're finally gonna read her for wearing a fucking corset. Oh, what? We'll mm, talk about it. We'll talk about it. So quick commercial break, and then we'll be back with uh, the Rue walkthroughs and a special surprise, and a lot more, I mean, like the whole episode. So come back. <laughs> <laughs> Rue comes in and. She was also coming in hot. Coming in hot, she was ready for people to step up their pussies. Yes, and she was also ready for some shady, like she was just like, okay girl, so we asked them who's going home, who, who do you think should go home? Right. Huh? Hmm? I'm gonna stir the shit. Yep. And it worked. It did. I wanna see more personality out of you. Okay. I know it's there. Girl, I need more personality. Like mm -hmm. she was just. I like, I mean this was Here very. Here it is, exactly. this is your note. Yeah. We're checking in, we're halfway through the season, girl. Here's what I gotta tell you. Mm -hmm. If you wanna win, Need to see more personality. Yep. And then we get to Plastique. I don't know if it was because I had expectations. So I, ha I watched this late and people kept tweeting and posting about, oh, I'm never going to forget this moment. Oh, it was so amazing. It was so powerful. Oh, I missed those. Really building it up. And so I was like, oh, my goodness, something, clearly something very unprecedented is going mm. to happen in this walkthrough. And so I, I was had, was expecting something, I guess. I guess. And then she sort of, Plastique sort of tells the story about how her family is not okay with her doing drag and, you know, we don't really talk about it. Mm -hmm. And she gets very emotional. Yeah. Which I felt was all real. It I thought it was safe. all real. Raja did not, but whatever. 
This is an opportunity for you to show them in a way on your own terms. But no, I thought this was all very real, but it just happened so f The whole thing with Rue seemed weird. Well, it always seems weird where Rue was like, I'm gonna play psychiatrist now. You know, mm, mm. The tears, the bits that you may be ashamed of, do it here. This is your new home. I'm your new mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed so quick and out of nowhere that she was like, I'm your mama now. It Basically, was. it's like... I definitely, it seemed like they edited out a lot of a conversation that right? we missed. She didn't say like, oh, my mom threw me out of the house and I haven't... I'm your mommy now. No, you, you didn't. <laughs> no, mommy's dead. I'm your mommy down. What was that? <laughs> From a deadly adoption. Oh, that's right. What was that movie? Was that what that was? A deadly adoption. Yeah. Yeah. No, I oh, that's, that's, that's immediately what I thought of. I was like, I'm your mommy now. You always be my baby. For me, the really powerful part was where you could really see the pain and hurt. Yes. When she was describing how Absolutely. her trying to be herself resulted in her parents and family like feeling ashamed and hurt and like that's gotta be like horrible her, and yeah. scary where you're just like, I'm just gonna retreat now yes. and not show that yep. and not be me around them. That was sad. And Absolutely. I think that's what the other queens were reacting and it to. And it felt very authentic and everything. It just mm -hmm. seemed like it was edited, like, chopped a or bit. something. A little bit. But anyway. I like Rue coming later with Angie when it's like, who's left? Bitch, you know who's left. <laughs> um, who's left? Bitch, you know who's left. I don't know! Then she gets to Silky. You've been getting by on that personality of yours. Oh, have I? You know that. I ain't telling you nothing you don't already know. But this was, I, I, I've got hope from this. Mm. Because it seemed like Rue was not turning a blind eye right. to Silky's shortcomings. You know, where it was like, but, well, I'm not going to give you a gown because I know you don't want this. And Rue's like, nah, it's not because of a gown. Yeah. It's because you need to have a piece of fabric that's actually put together and not falling apart something. on the goddamn fucking runway. Uh, yeah. What is happening? <laughs> Last design challenge, but I was just too pretty, apparently. Uh-huh. Bitch, but you were in the bottom? Oh, well, I was only in the bottom because I was beautiful. She's really hung up on... Yeah this and it's like no that's not what it was at all your dress was falling off yeah. like it wasn't that creative your makeup looked crazy right not beautiful so she's like taking it as well the one time i tried to do quote unquote ugly makeup they put me in the bottom i guess mm, so i'm in the right then rue asks okay well who do you think should go home next i think evie should go home just because she's hurt and we got time for that <sighs> Which is like a pretty shady thing, like a pretty shady reason. Yes. To just be like, girl, she's pushing through her injury, but she should go because like, that's fucked up. Yes. Just be like, she should go because I don't like her. Sure. That's more valid to me. Right. I don't like her drag. I mean, that's, yeah, that's pretty clear that she doesn't. pretty clear that she doesn't. It's she doesn't like, get it. I so don't like. Think but she doesn't want to tell that to Rue because she knows. Exactly. Silky knows that Evie's her biggest competition. Yeah. Well, I, I want to see her lip sync. I, I oh. want to send her home. Oh. Whatever. I'm like, are you sure about that? I would love to see Miss Evie in a lip sync for your life. I'm going to send that bitch all the way back to Denver. Oh, girl. I think that's a mistake. I think that's I mean, a mistake. go for it. <laughs> Let Evie send you home. <laughs> And then Rue goes to Evie. Right. And it's like, well, who do you think should go? And then this was very Evie. I mean, Evie's just very smart. Uh-huh. Silky Ganache. Why? I think Silky has been the most resistant to your critiques and the judges. Like, buzzword, 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 buzzword. I know what you want to hear, Rue. Oh, what you just told her? <laughs> yep. Right. And then, you know, Vanjie's like, oh, like, they're like, Eve's dropping, like, oh my god, can you believe this? Can you believe this? It's like, you just said that about her, I don't understand. You know, she's like mad that right. she threw her under, Evie threw her under the bus for saying that she should go home. It's but like, you literally, you literally just, said just said that she, she should, should go, go home. home. I don't understand. That's the problem with all this drama around, uh, you said that I should go home. It's like, but you, like last week with Roger, Roger it's like, but you said I should go home. Like, I don't. It's all subjective, so fuck you. Like, what are we talking about? This is nonsense. Right. You know, and then I will say, so it will come up later. Yeah. Miss Vanjie says that Evie should go home right. because she gave her heart, you know, she gave her a read. Yeah. It, and I thought it was all kind of cute and sweet the way she did it. Until. Until I'm talking, we'll talk about it. Yeah. 
Evie because she told me I needed to change my silhouette. I don't know if she thought she was the voice of reason. And you took offense to it. Yeah, because I knew she was right. It was silly and it didn't really feel like she was no, actually No, I was saying... mad about it later. Yes. When she said it this time, I was like, that's silly. Yeah. And, and oh, good, she's aware. And then yes. she's like, oh no, what happened? Oh yeah, oh God, where, where do we go? Yeah. Well, and Silky throughout the episode just keeps saying, America is gonna love me, so, you know, who cares? Because America's gonna love me. I was gonna Are be they? Like, Are you sure about that girl? Oh girl. I feel like you're misreading what's happening here. It's just like, Drag Race 101, it's Sharon and Fifi, it's yeah. Roxy and Jinx. Like, it's just like, what, what are we, what are we, what are we doing here, yep. guys? Yep, this is season 11, how do you not know what's happening? What if, that Evie's just like, <laughs> I know what's happening. <laughs> yes, <she does>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, am I gonna find myself in the bottom midway through the season so I can have a legendary fucking lip sync and then I'll win? Yes, oh, great. <laughs> because you kind of need to do that to like, Win win, like, yes! Yeah. And even they later they say, like, oh, well, Sasha was always in the. She had a fucking legendary lip sync that led to her winning. Yep. And she had talent. <laughs> I mean, it was super shady, but that's what made me laugh. We'll talk about it. We'll get there. So then Rue announces that they also have to do a little line dancing number. Right. Alyssa Edwards is here. Right. And she is fucking fabulous. So fabulous. I am just. In love with her. Yeah. I had forgotten that Plastique was her drag daughter. Yeah. My mom. So, yes. Alyssa's there to help them with advice on their runway walks. And this was a really fun thing to put in there. And I think it was good advice. I mean, I thought it was obviously great advice. she's a great teacher. Yes. Complete it. Now look at them. That's it. <laughs> That's your character, right? <laughs> really strong constructive criticism. Yep. And I was just like, I mean, why isn't Alyssa a judge on the show? Oh my god, yes! Yes! Crank it up! Crank it to the left! <laughs> Crank it! Oh, do you want to go that way? Crank it up this way, that way, forward, back! Who cares? Look at me! Everyone was improved upon, oh, yeah. you know, upon her critiquing them. And I did like, I mean, talking about Plastique's personality, I did like that she shaded Alyssa yes. in her <laughs> dance corner. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, and did the splits and stuff. Like, she is... She does have fun sometimes. Yes. I just wish it was more consistent. Agreed. Later on, she says like, oh, I've been in the top a bunch of times and I finally won. And I was like, oh, I guess you have. Right, I was like. But in my mind, she's on the lower tier of like the remaining queen. Yeah. And so it's just kind of this weird thing for me where I'm like, she's talented. Yes. And she's turned some great looks. Yes. Albeit very similar. Very Talk about similar. It. I'm just kind of like, where's the fun-loving pizzazz. She seems like she's afraid to act a fool in the words of Naomi Small. Yes. And it seems like the producers decided this week that she should like go to the top four. It seemed like that was a, a conscious decision. I was very confused. She is on her way to the Olympics. Oh girl, we just came from there. I think Evie's feeling... Oh, She's obviously feeling insecure because she's injured, yep. right? And so she's having to sort of compensate for that. And then with people Silky coming for her and them shading her, this was so petty. So petty. This was. This is like. And I was like, petty oh no, you're, Pedersen. you're only hurting yourself. Yes. Like, oh no. I just wanted to. What's this blue tape girl? Well, I just wanted to show all the girls, and I'm like, oh no, oh no. That's for a sprained ankle. But I just wanted to show the girls that you can push through things as long as you're not pushing past your limit. Send me home because I'm injured. <laughs> that you can push through as long as you don't push past your limit. I mean, it was limit. like almost so fake that I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of here for this. <laughs> but I was also like, oh no. Don't do this. Don't this, do this. This is a mistake. Yeah. There goes Miss Congeniality. <laughs> <laughs> She wasn't getting that no, anyway. No. What does that have to do with anything, bitch? What does that have to do with anything, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, she does all of these flips, which she so didn't have to do for a runway walk. Nope, I love I like, the performance, but, you know. and she just not said anything. <laughs> this sort of gets brushed under the rug a bit. I almost said <laughs> brushed under the wig. I like that term like, phrase. I like that, but also then I was like, oh, rug. Toupee, mm -hmm. wig, yeah, it, it works. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, brushed under the wig, Ariel's wigs. Anyway, burn the wigs. Burn the wigs. Burn them. I think this was weird that this didn't really come up again with Plastique allegedly like stealing Raja's tree bark. 
Oh, right. I was the one who originally pulled tree bark. As I was working, I look if, and I only have three pieces of bark left. Was it, it like a great result. on her table and she stole it? It seemed. Or was it just like I was using tree bark and then, and then she it? went and took tree bark too? I don't know, but I feel like that was sort of a part of a precursor to then what ended up happening later between them. Mm. Like, oh, I'm mad and also I'm more mad and mad and mad and mad. Maybe. And mad. Like, you know, I maybe. Think that maybe started the ball rolling. Perhaps. -ish. Some resentment. It was like a seed of resentment. Because it seemed like. In Raja's mind, she stole the tree bark and then Raja had to regroup and make pants. So Plastic, did you use those pieces of bark? She was like, oh, I did. Well, bitch, why are you putting my shit on your garment in the first place? Right. That seemed to be the narrative Raja was telling. And I was like, is that true? If so, that's kind of shady. No, that's super shady. Yeah. Especially if it was on her work, if it was on her workstation and she just took it. Right. Then that seems like a much bigger scandal that should have been had. I also wondered where, what, what? The mystery of, of... The mystery of the tree bar. Yeah. So another quick rush break, and we're back with the runway. Farm to the runway. And... You're right, I don't like it. No, see, it doesn't doesn't roll off the tongue. No. Farm to tuck. A little bit. It's a little... I'm still not loving it. No. Farm to tunic. Farm to Templeton. Farm to... T Come on, Templeton. Templeton. You're Come welcome. on, Templeton. Ah! I don't know, but anyway, yeah. we'll be back with that. <laughs> so to celebrate the farm to tunic, well, I don't know, we'll work on it, but whatever. To celebrate, we decided to wear, it's a very good jam. Mm -hmm. And in honor also of Passover, that was somewhat recent, maybe. <laughs> Gefilte fish, yes. Well, you know that Carol Channing wouldn't make anything but organic jam. Of course not. That's why it's very good. Which is very good jam. Rue comes down the runway. Yes, in another I really movie, like this. Dress. Oh, well, yeah, I liked it too. Yeah. But also, um, it was like movie bitches colors. Yeah, this sort of like asymmetrical sequin, like half of it's like roses and half of it's just like a red kind of. It was, I liked it. It was it, interesting. It was. It was very interesting. I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I thought it was really cute. Yeah. And then they have them do their little pumpkin pie country dance. This was silly. Silliness. I mean, Evie was to me the well, Evie and Nina were the funniest parts. Oh my god. Where I was just like, I mean, Evie was working it. it. Yeah. Just, woof. I mean, it was. <laughs> you know, it was really stupid. I really was. I would have been because everyone's in like jean shorts and gingham tops, and I would have been really happy if someone had done Mystique's country look. Oh my god. I was just bringing another type of country and not Western. This is Western to me. That's complete. This is completely Western. I'm genuinely mad that no one has made fun of her and done a country look as Mystique. I, I think mean, that would, I would be love that. everything. Yes. Just get some black slacks and ugly purple top and a stupid hat that's too small. How good would that have been? Serving some mystique country realness. What? It would have been such a conversation starter. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been so good. Yes. I mean, I think they provided them these outfits. But, but yes. But yes. Still not mad at making it work. Absolutely. Tom linking it. What's that guy's name who does like the, you know, 99 cent store lookalike outfits on Instagram? Yes, 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 yes. I remember thinking to myself the second time viewing. Yeah. Huh. Uh, oh, I almost called her Violet. What's her name? Who? S uh, the girl who won. Plastique. Jesus Christ. That's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I would just like to you know, use this as an example. This is what I'm saying. So yeah, I was like, oh, Plastique seems kind of forgettable. And then they specifically called her out for being memorable. The producers decided this week that she should go to the end. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't either. So first on the runway, oh boy, Sugar Cane. I, I, I was con. Fused. I mean, I thought she looked more like a troll this week than on her troll week. The hair. It was just, like, yeah, it was you, just going the wrong way. You did a side troll but hair. sometimes you do that with your you troll You absolutely hair. do. You went, oh, like this oh, time no, it's going to go yeah. this way. Yeah, yeah. And this time it's going to have the three-pointed yeah. mohawk. Yeah. And this time it's going to, you know. Absolutely. But I was like, girl, where was this two weeks ago? <laughs> this was wacky. Wacky. Her makeup was wacky. 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 Her lips literally looked like Winifred. Yes, it was so small. I thought, oh boy, this is a mess. Um, and then she was safe and I was confused. A little bit. I mean, she used a lot of fabric. Yeah. She 
It put, she glued some little flower petals on, and it wasn't a particularly exciting silhouette or anything for she that. She just kind of dresses like it's my super sweet 16. Mm. There's a lot of like... A little cupcakey kind of... Oh, fine, you know. Sure. I, I thought just, this was wacky, but I didn't know why. No, I didn't know what she was telling me. She came in like it was a hurricane, but why? Because like the climate sugar change? Kind of climate, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it would have been fun. What? If someone did like a real like cocoon <laughs> moment, and it was like... Oh, and then it rained, or like if it was just like a watering spout. A performance, spell, a performance uh, If it was like piece. a giant water spout. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. I like that. I like it a lot. Yeah. Flower petals, dude, I'm coming alive. Exactly. Lot. Give me some real performance art. That would have been great. I would have liked it. Yeah. Oh boy, so next down the runway, uh, Silky Ganache in this. I mean, on one hand. I like hand, that she's fully no longer a doctor. No. On one hand, you know, from afar, if you squint, it's like, oh, it's giving me a little Phyllis Neffler. You know, with the hat, it, she had the little hat she had and the, the hat. long and the cape. Uh huh. I'm uh -huh. not saying it was like a good Phyllis Neffler, but uh -huh. like from afar, like, oh, okay, this, uh -huh. this is kind of. By the way, yeah. speaking of Phyllis Neffler, uh -huh. I will be extremely angry if someone doesn't wear a Phyllis Neffler outfit to the Met Gala. <gasps> because it's camp and camp. I mean, I mean. Like the, the gold with the. Oh, some, yes. I love, I love that. Yeah. So anyway, no, this this for me was here you want a bean? Have another bean. <laughs> here you want a bean. Have another bean. I just was really confused, and I think she was too, because in her description she was like, it's couture, I'm a career woman. All of the things she was saying, I was like, what? And made this shit look couture. Very sexy, very, very career woman. Who's wearing this to work? Well, no one. Who's wearing this period? But who's also, wearing this, who's wearing this and saying it's couture? You know, I don't know. She, I could. Yeah. In the words of Brooklyn, I could have seen this being in the bottom, girl. <laughs> no shit. No, no shit. But... Oh, girl. This reminded me way too much of her uh, first runway look. Just like a lady would wear to work. Yeah. The cape and like it's the same skirt. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was fine. It looked more like clothes than some other people's. Sure, and she used some of the materials. Of course, it was just beans and candy glued onto a, a burlap sack. Built a stretch fabric. That's what he said later. And that you tried to throw me under the bus after putting on some stretch fabric bullshit and covering it in beans. I mean, it's true. It's very true. It's, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Evie speaks the truth. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Evie, mm. next up is Evie Audley, and I loved this. This is the best look of the night. I thought so, too. So it's like volcanic... Yeah. Volcanic? Volcanic. What's that? I don't know. It's a sugar cane water or a volcano. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah. This volcanic hibiscus, you know, like poison ivy, like, like she- But like in a good way. It looked like, I'm so beautiful, touch me. Like what are those plants that are, they're trying to sure. like glamour you? Yes. She looked like that. Like, sure. Like, come to me and I, you know. She I, also really reminded me of like, um, God, what's her Kafiti? Oh, Moana. Yeah. Moana. Remember when she was on this episode, this season? Who? Kahana. Oh, Kahana. I was like, wait, the God. girl who was the voice of Moana oh. was a guest judge, and I forgot. Oh, why hasn't Ali Cravalho been a guest judge? That would be really fun. Ooh, I would love that. Um, no, but this was very like the heart of Tafi Tahiti. Ka Tafi Tafi. Ta to I forget. Tafiti. You know, like if you were to personify totally. her in a dress, that's what this felt like to me. And it was contoured, yeah. it was gorgeous, these little, uh, the petals like floating off yeah. and being her extra shoulder. Yeah. I mean, I thought this was great, and the little finger waves, yeah. the makeup was beautiful. I really liked it. I thought this was the best look of the night that also fulfilled the challenge. Particularly that. Next on the runway is Nina West. Yeah. In this corn husk. I was mad that no one like even mentions Austin Scarlett's corn husk dress from Project Runway season one. Oh. That was like such a big deal. It was the first unconventional challenge ever. And he made the whole dress out of corn husks and then he didn't refrigerate it. And then it had like overnight, oh, but then it looked that. even better. Oh my God, love it. It was so good. Yeah, I mean, obviously this wasn't perfect. But I did think, I was like, good for you, you used all unconventional materials yep. that were like, hard, things that were hard to use. Yep. I actually liked her makeup and hair. They kind of read her for it later. I found it to be harsh. It was harsh, but I thought it was like, it gave it a, like a weird vibe. Like, it was, it gave it more personality. If she had just had pretty makeup on, sure, it would have been even more. I boring. didn't want pretty makeup. I wanted kind of 
crazier. Yeah, but I but, don't know. She looked like some sort of, you know, zombie. I don't know. Something about it, I was like, oh. Like Child of the Corn? Yeah. <gasps> yes. That would have been good. That would have been. But, uh, you know, I think she thought about, you know, she tried to give herself a, a peplum. Yes, I wish she had more fabric it on the like bottom. It looks like she ran out of time. Yeah, like, or oh, no. out of corn house. Or out of corn house. But yeah, the bottom skirt was like, oh, God. Yep, yep, gotta cover my... Gotta cover my... Cover the you know, yeah. but like, and she... But she tried. She's listening. Yes. So the next is Brooklyn Heights, and yes. I loved this. Loved it. Didn't think it fit the challenge. It was all fabric. It was just denim that she made. She made a dress out of denim, and she glued some oranges to a little purse that she made. And like, and the earrings were cute. Yeah. All the details were there. Loved it. But, but I, was I was like, this isn't really. This is just fabric. Yeah. I mean, I guess it didn't matter. Oh, well, they, I mean, to be fair, it was the materials that were provided to them. That's true. So, like, sure, girl, make it work. But when I look at like her versus Evie. I'm more impressed by Evie's dress because yeah. it was like, oh, you really went for it and took these crazy things and made a dress that still looks great. And it didn't look like crap glued onto no. a corset. It had a purpose. There was a design. Yes. The colors all went. I mean, the the highlight of those pink petals right on the top yeah. within yeah. the makeup. I yeah. mean, it was like, oh, yeah. oh my God. Versus I glued beans to a dress yes. to look like sparkles. There's just, there's a, there's a difference. There's a difference. But yes. I love this. When she turned around, gave everyone a little cheeky peek. Yep, give a little, little boop, a little pass. Oh, cheeky peek. I like that. I, there's no one else I really would have put in the top. No. So I was okay with it. Yes. But I was like, you definitely shouldn't win because. Yeah, because you didn't really yeah. elevate the materials. So then next on the runway is Akira. Yeah. And she, I mean, I was bummed because. She's given us such good such looks. Such good looks. And I think she just really got thrown. There's always a person on Project Runway who just like cannot wrap their heads around yep. unconventional materials. And yep. they just change their mind and they can't make it to shit. And, and she had just, that, she was struggling and yeah. she had to scrap it and redo it. And so it showed that she just didn't have the time. Yeah. The fit wasn't great. The shoulders, I agreed with them, were a little too shrugged. Yeah. It didn't really work for me. The wig was bad. The wig was bad. But I think if she had done a different wig maybe with the shoulders it would have been helped. helpful helped yeah get the hair up maybe i don't know yeah with just a splash of organic peacock feathers i mean she had like the peacock feather kind of mm -hmm. accents it was just sort of clothes it was not couture it no. wasn't really fashion it well was... again it was denim so it was like well what are we really doing here but seriously though it seems like weird that they gave them all that fabric i mean right and it was just like denim. I mean, like, I get it, it's made from cotton, but like, a lot of fabric is. Fruit of the Loom challenge. Sure. I like that. To come out as your favorite fruit. Sponsored by Fruit of the Loom. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Well, like fruit, because they're gay. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. So next on the runway was Miss Vanjie. Yeah. And this was also kind of disappointing. I almost <clears throat> maybe would have put this in the bottom as well. Yeah. Or like the bottom or she was trying it again. So in right. the same vein as Nina West. Yes. She was taking Michelle and it's like, look, I, I'm going to try and do something different. It was still like a crop top and a skirt, but I actually liked the bodice, the idea of this sort of rope. Agreed. I mean, it looked like slutty Ariel. Yes. Like, I, oh, I have to make a dress out of this, yeah. you know, ship sail and or whatever. But, you know, there was only like a, like a little bit of the sail left. Right. Oh. oh. Yeah, it was like trampy trick or treater. Aerial, really specific, a really yeah. specific aerial look. Yeah. Like the idea of the fallen roped, you know, whatever, and then it just seemed like she ran out of time. Yep. I like that she bothered to make a fascinator. It was like fine. It was confused for me. Yeah. And it didn't really gel. So the next on the runway is Yo Soy Groot. <laughs> Yo Soy Groot. Yo Soy Groot. Yo Soy Groot. Yo, soy Groot. Yo, soy Groot. I mean, yeah, this was very, I think Michelle said it, but it was definitely like, I am Groot. <laughs> because of this, mostly. I didn't hate this as much as everyone else because it had some ideas. Yes. I thought it was visually, like the pat, like from here up, I wasn't that mad at it. You know, she's got like majorette pants on, which were weird and really threw off the look. Sure. <laughs> It was really, oh, you got this wood nymph through the, oh, are you leading a parade? You know? What if she had just done like an asymmetrical cut of like a skirt out of the burlap, maybe, yeah. or something? Like a, yeah, like a high slit, you know, high yeah. low to the side. Yeah. I mean, it would have been better. I think the so. The pants really took it to human 
daytime. Sure. You know, and it was like, no, but you're like a tree nymph. What happened? Right. You know, right. why are you wearing well, the, career pants? And then I think they also made it just seem more of like a tree, tree like, truck. like a tree. Yes, yes. <laughs> I liked the hair piece. The like braided, the braided raffia. green, whatever it was. Yeah. But I didn't like the way that she worked it in. Like, I kind of wish she had, like, a wig still or, or some way for it to connect more to her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it definitely looked... I, uh, yeah. I like the makeup. You know, she had these cool, like, tree-like, you know, fungi-looking yeah, lids. lids and, and there was cool stuff in here. And I really actually thought this had more ideas than other people. Mm -hmm. And looked more unconventional, looked more, you know, farm. Polished in a lot of ways. I thought so. So I'm fine that she went and she could have gone three weeks ago or whatever. But I was like, actually, like, maybe she didn't deserve to be the bottom. I, I mean, maybe. And I think they were just like, well, we got to get rid of her. You're right. <laughs> it's time. The time has come. We don't really know why we saved her all this other time. <laughs> right? So then last on the runway was Plastique Tiara. I did notice Rue took my note. Plastique Tiara. She said Tiara this week? Yeah. Weird. Really weird. She came out and it was really just the same thing that we've seen from her. This I, to me was exactly the same as the gold. Yeah. Like whatever. It with was the, so like, oh. It's nice. That was nice. It's a corset with stuff built on it. You know, I like her head pieces. I think she yeah. does a really good job of doing that and it looks really cool and her makeup's beautiful and it was perfectly polished. But oh, I was yeah. like, oh, seen it. Yeah. She'll be on the top, but she won't win. That was my thought. That was sure. my thought. Sure. Because like, who else would I put at the top? No one. No one really. So yeah. I was like, sure. Same fucking glittering tights with the strappy sandals. Why is no one talking about it? That's what makes it even worse. It's yes. like you're wearing the corset, but you're literally wearing the same tights and shoes. It's every week. Yeah. I don't understand. And it cheapens because she's got this like organic, yeah. you know, feathered bark, you know, I'm right. out in nature and glittering tights. I wanted to burn those tights. Burn them. Burn them. Burn the shoes too. Sure. Quit wearing those shoes. Why is no one talking about Why? Them? I mean, Michelle, come on. Like, they're Usually open toed and she's wearing them with tights. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I thought this, I was like, that's nice. But in my mind, I was like, great. So Evie's going to have another win under her belt. It's going to be great. What? Very confused. Confused. But we're not there yet. Not quite yet. Because a quick commercial break. And then we'll be back with the judging and an untucked and of course a lipstick. <gasps> So yeah, well, I, so we get to the judging and they're talking to Plastique. I love this outfit. It reminds me of a Brooke Shields Vanity Fair cover from November of 1984. But it was so clearly ADR. Yes. After they had looked it up and she had said the wrong year or whatever. Vanity Fair cover from November of 1984. And it was really so made me specific laugh. that I was like, why? Like someone had to look this up and be like, okay, we're gonna say November 1984. I should have and did not look up I mean, we'll do it now. Said cover, but sure. So, Raja and Akira are in the bottom, and they have to lip sync to Sheena Easton's strut. And I thought this was fun. It was fun. I, it, was a, it was a good lip sync. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's Akira. I mean, I love like, that she's giving us this like silly air. Yeah. All of it, and really the lean back, the str mm -hmm. lean back strut mm -hmm. was yeah. really fun. Yes, she was really working it. I thought she definitely won. Yeah. I didn't necessarily think that it was like a runaway. No. I think, I mean, I, I mean, Raja's it's honestly like a once, good lip syncer. I Raja know. took her hair off. Oh. Rue, oh. And you lost. Yep. She's like carrying it around, and I was like, what are you doing? But she was just like holding it like real weird, like here. Yeah, she had played it like a saxophone. That would have been great. <laughs> I would have loved that. Or even air guitar. Something, but she was just sort of holding it. It was yeah. weird. It was weird. It was real weird. Yep. Um, Wrap and then it around know, yourself. Her... Maybe it, Ooh. maybe it, you do, it bites you. You know, you turn into a snake. Oh, ah, you know, Strut. something. Dance with it like it was. I don't know. Just do something other than and I'm holding my <laughs> raffia braided wig hair. Akira did win in my mind. And yes. Then she won. And yes. I was like, yeah. It wasn't like, oh my god, this is the best lip sync. I'm gonna remember it. But yeah. I was like, that was really cute and fun. It was. So this week on Untouched Girl. What was that one telling me? What was that story? I don't know. Girl. It was, girl, I need a break because there's a lot of yelling. That was, Brooklyn was saying, girl, I'm just gonna hide into these cushions. <laughs> oh, oh girl. Oh girl. Banji already seems like she's in a mood because she was safe. Right? Yeah. She, at the, already she's like, I don't want everyone to come back here. I don't want to talk to them. Yeah. Like she was already mad. Before all 45 of us come up in here and I don't feel like talking when those bitches come, you know how it gets. It gets too hostile and I'll be real over it. 
they're talking, well, who do you think is going to be in the bottom? And Silky's like, well, I definitely think it's going to be Evie and Nina. And then Evie's definitely going to go home. And everyone's like, okay. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> sure, Jan. Sure. sure you know, right? Like, mm -hmm. right? What's this fantasy that you are having? And Sugar just be like, but like... You really think so? Because Evie's been like in the top, like a lot. When it comes to Evie, do you boo, because you're not going to get farther than me. <laughs> the level of delusion was really funny. I mean, I just don't understand how you look at Evie's outfit and be like, oh, that's definitely going home. Right? Even if you don't like her. Right. You can't look at that dress and not go, wow, that looks pretty. And then once again, Silky's still mad. Like, they're still stirring the pot about, well, Evie threw me under the bus for saying that I, I should, should go, go home. home. And I'm just like, I can't. Uh, you literally, it was it was very clearly a reaction to you saying that she should go home. And either way, you said that she should go home first. So how can you be pissed? It's just... It's so stupid. It's so stupid. And then there's a whole conversation with Vanjie about how she seems like re-mad that Evie told her she should change up her silhouette. Right. Even though earlier she had joked with Rue that like, I know she was right. And then in the workroom, She's trying to get her outfit together and she's like, Evie, you'll give me your honest, real opinion. Yeah. Come tell me if you think this is cute, you know? And so at first you're like, wait, why are you mad? What? And then she sort of is like, oh, we're like sisters, like we fight. Right. And then we make up and like... I think part of it was because she probably felt like she took that advice and tried to change her silhouette. And she was... And it didn't do well for her. Right. And so... She didn't really change her silhouette. Oh, well, also she didn't really do a good job. Also that. So like, you know, it's like, well, you could have changed the silhouette and done a good job right. and then maybe you would have been in the top. Like Evie, who's like, oh, you want glamour, bitch? Right. I'll give you glamour, bitch. Yeah. So, you know, and yet if Vanjie had done the same silhouette, yeah. I'm pretty sure she would have been in the bottom. Oh, yeah. Because of Michelle. Yeah. So, and because it would have still been poorly made. Probably. <laughs> But then the top and bottom queens come back. Well, who's in the top? Who's in the bottom? Well, Evie's definitely in the top. And Silky just being like, <sighs> does that? She literally says, "Does that seem weird to you?" Evie for sure. Fierce. That's shocking. Silky think... also kept talking about Evie as if she was not in the room. And I was gonna have a conversation with Evie about that afterwards, but she seemed I don't want to have a conversation about it afterwards because you just did it publicly. She looks great. I figured she'd be in the top. What are you talking about? <laughs> I do like that everyone's not here for her delusion. No. Like, she doesn't have any minions like Shangela. Right. Who was like, come along with me and we will all, you know, it's just, everyone's like, what? No. It's not working for me. And it's like, well, it's working for everyone else. <laughs> America's gonna love her. Oh my God. I know that America will love me. You're absolutely right. I'm sure America's just gonna love you. <laughs> Evie kind of defends herself and they start getting into a fight and, you know, Evie's like, you were bad-mouthing me to Rue over something like right. a pre-existing condition. How fucked up is that? And I was like, that's true. And Silky's like, I never came for you, girl, or whatever. And <laughs> Brooklyn, like, Brooklyn's responses were so good. I never say anything to you. Okay, yeah, sure. Let the cameras replay that. Okay. What have I said? Have I said anything? Okay. And Evie goes, like, let's play the tapes, but, but they said, never did. Oh, let's see what the cameras have to say about that. And I was like, and then they inserted the, wait, what the fuck? Right? I was so what disappointed. Happened? Where are the she shady editors? She literally lobbed you. Yeah, I would never say that. <laughs> no tea, I thought you were going to be on the bottom this week for this look. So then they just start going at it, and I mean, Silky again is like, I'm going to like let's lip sync and I'll send oh, you right. home or whatever. Right. I was like, you sure about that, girl? I can't wait to see your ass in the bottom. I can't wait to see me in the bottom next to you so I can sing your ass home. I'll dance circles around oh, your ass. Oh, would you? She's playing a risky game. It really is. Tell him, Rue, put me in the bottom, bitch. I'm going to send everyone back. Brooklyn's just oh, God. doing the, the best faces, and, and Evie is Evie is pissed. Uh -huh. She has had it. Mm -hmm. She's mad. I think probably because she's in pain is not helping. Probably. You know? Yeah. It's hard to be in What well, I think she's in pain and insecure about the pain and, like, self-conscious about it. And worried that they could take her out and what would that Exactly. You know, exactly. Got, it's, you know, all There's a lot swirling. of swirling. They're just like, ah, like, yelling at each other. And then there's, and here's the TV. It was oh, just like, yes. very, like... So let's all calm down and watch yep. Plastique's video because we want her to win this episode. And I... someone decided that she was going to win this episode because of reasons that escaped me.
Because no one's talking about the tights. <laughs> no one is talking about the tights. And the shoes. And the shoes. It's weird how they just overlook things. Yeah, they just decide. And sometimes they're so fixated on things. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, so Vanjie, we're going to tell a thousand times, girl. Change it up. Change it up, but silk. Plastique. Plastique. I don't know what my problem is with her. And so they wheel out the TV, and it's Plastique's uh, boyfriend, and he's sort of, you know, oh, I miss you, and da da da. And he, yeah. I guess he kind of says something like, you know, I know that your family would also be so proud of you as well. I know that in the beginning, you know, they had their misconceptions. In the past, you had such a hard time with your family. Right. But I'm so happy we've sort of. Your been, mom and grandmother are going to see you. And they've sort of moved forward from it. Akira and Raja just being like, girl, what the fuck? Well, and also Akira just stoking that flame. Mm -hmm. He just talked about her family. What he said about her family? Anyway, mm -hmm. what she been saying. Talk about. Playing the game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Girls, did you hear that? Oh, you yeah. should get angry. Why don't you get real angry? Well, I should get really mad. Phone. And you also shouldn't, like, ask what she actually said on the tape, but just take my word for it. Right? Well. I don't really want to get into it, but what I'm saying is... Okay. Well, you brought it up. It well, what do you mean? Well, I'm not going to bring it up now. <laughs> Girl, you just brought it up. It's because, what? That's what Sugar said. Remember Sugar was like, well, you, you brought it up. <laughs> well, you brought it up. I think I should talk about it. Girl, obviously they're trying to get you to the top four because you've got your mama coming. You got Rue calling you her child. Like, what the fuck is that about? But I mean, I did feel like I wasn't like... Raja, you're a hundred percent crazy for this sure. response. You know, she's like, she gets a you know a new mom in RuPaul. Her drag mom Alyssa shows up. Then she gets a video from her boyfriend. I was like, it's not untrue. It, all of the things that are happening. Absolutely, and it was a little confusing as to why they picked this video for this week. I don't know why someone's story should affect whether or not they win a challenge. Well, sure, in an ideal world, but this was exactly the same as her butterfly look. It was. The, That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't get it. So, and no one said anything. No. It was weird. It's really weird. So yeah, when Raja is just confronting her, basically like, obviously the producers want to, you to make it to top four. I was like, I mean, it's not untrue. Right. Uh, so how did that make you feel? Uh, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically saying like, you know, you're telling Rue one story and this another story. And I think it was, you know, nitpicking and not, sure. you know, I don't think Plastique was like making up that she had a lot of problems in the past no. and it's still affecting her and is still emotional about it. And I always find it weird anyway when they do all of this drama about people and their, their home lives and their families and stuff. Right. Be, in part just because it is so personal and it's like, you know, much like Love, Simon, everyone should be allowed to come out when and how they want. Right. Well, it did make, make me... Stop making people meet you on the Ferris wheel, Rue. Oh my god. That, that video that you reposted. And that was your joke, right? The director's cut. The director's cut was me. That really made me laugh. Good. But you can tell Raj is obviously like insecure and jealous. Oh, she knows and, she's going home. And jealous that, you know, they're obviously like, yeah. you know, coddling Plastique in a way yeah. and all of these things. And, yeah. and she says, I'm feeling a certain way about it. Like she was like, I'm just feeling a way. And I was like, I hear you. I girl. get it. I yeah. get it. There's and a I lot honestly, of emotions and feelings. and. I really don't think I would have put Raj on the bottom. Except for the fact that she has been in the bottom so much. But that's not really fair. For the challenge performance, I agree. So. I probably, I don't know what I would have put on the bottom. Vanjie? Sugar and Silky. Sugar? Silky. Sugar ah. and Silky. Yeah. Akira, I know she can turn a look, whatever. She kind of did a boring one. But also, how have fabulous would that have been? If it's just like, you know what, Silky? You said put you in the fucking bottom. It's lip sync. This outfit's kind of a mess. You're in the bottom. Lip sync. Show me what you got. Exactly. Ooh, would've been good. Yeah. I'm sorry. If my actions or anything has, you know. Girl, we are Dallas. This is first and foremost. I forgive you for being mad at me. Right? Or whatever, Ed broke up. <laughs> Girl, what's going on? Okay, guys, like, but what's happening? What the fuck is going on? It's like Mother Teresa's drag school or something. Like. <laughs> She's like forgiving her for being mad, for her being mad that she's ruining her moment. And like, what? Brooklyn was just over everyone's oh fake God. nonsense yep. this week. Just yep. like, what? Are we, we're just gonna, this is acceptable? I mean, what's happened? Brooklyn was all of us. <laughs> Including when she built a fort. When she built a pillow fort to his. I did not pop off at you. Okay, I literally hey, told I'm you I'm not to. I'm telling you, I felt like you did. Okay?
I mean, oh my God. this was like... It was zero to a thousand. Oh, it really went right to 11. Yeah. It was like, whoa, what happened? Bitch, I don't feel like this for no reason. I don't feel like this for no reason. If they would have asked me about you, I would have not read you. And they just start yelling at each other. Because no, I'm not. not proud of no, you, you're not. but I still no, thought your silhouette was... No, you're not. And Brooklyn's like, what? Yeah, it was a lot of yelling. I couldn't really hear or understand what they were No, because they were both shouting over each other. I don't like when mommy and daddy are fighting. Oh, no. And Nina was completely absent. I think she was practicing the song the whole time. Oh, probably. I, I would have been I really don't pissed. Want, I was really nervous. I don't want... I want Nina to go to the end, obviously, but I would like to see a Nina lip sync. Yeah. A fabulous Nina lip sync. I'm with that face. That she slays. Yeah. But yeah, they have a whole fight in Brooklyn, and then they, like, get in between them. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Girl, or whatever, and you can tell that, like, they were just, it was a hot box, and they yep. can't fight, it, you know, and then they're gonna, hopefully it'll be fine next week. It seems like it. So, cheers. This yes. was a, a fun episode. I like the, I mean, I, give me an unconventional challenge. Oh, I'm always here for the design challenges, the creative challenges. Yep. We have to make something on the fly. It yep. really shows how creative you are as an individual. Yes. Yes. How you approach things and what you can really turn out. And I like this. It was fun. It was a dramatic, loud, untucked. Yes, it was very old untucked. There was yes. a lot of drama. Yes. I think it would have been even better with two rooms. Oh my god, absolutely. Oh, just think of the backstabbing talk. Oh god, it would have been great. And also some shady editors to really pull the receipts. But what are you going to do? Cheers to this week. Yes. And... Cheers to Snatch Game. Cheers to Snatch Game. Let's see. Oh girl.